huge box. This thing weighs more than 70 pounds. And like everyone said, it's really cleverly packaged. It's got this uh, Velcro strap here on the side. And then nice front of the box. And it is just a big white box. Another big Velcro strap on that side. And then back of the box. Probably some of the most clever packaging I've seen, though. So, yeah, you uh, you remove the, the Velcro strap on one side. And then you go to the other side. And this is the first time I've opened it, so here we go. Remove the Velcro strap on this side. Goes right through. And then, well, it goes according to plan. There we go. I got a better angle on it, so... Hi. All right, so go to this side. Lift. Look at that. Boom. Box is really, really solid. This is. It's got the keyboard here in the front. It's got um, the packaging here in the back. And this, even the lid, they filled with components and things. It's got a huge thing in the recycling tab. This is incredibly clever the way they put all this together. Oh. All right, that's, that's all wrapped up. But it's designed so you can just lift it. Right there it is. My crow comes out of the box. Look at that. Whew. All right, let me pick up the camera here. I'll give you a shot of the inside of the box. So. Mac Pro, and inside the box, there is the usual design by Apple in California with all the stickers and stuff. And then here on the side, they've inserted a box that has the cord and the keypad. And this side is the Mac keyboard. Wow. This may be one of the box. Even the top of the box is cool. It's got a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a texture. To the surface. So there you go, Mac Pro. I'll uh, have to put it by the desk and see how it goes. And here it is, unwrapped. For the record, even the base model is a monster. So, back ports, and you can see these absolutely perfectly manufactured holes. Give you view of them. Look at that. Now I've got a basic configuration, so it's got a couple standard USB ports, a couple Thunderbolt ports, get down to the bottom, and it's got a couple HDMI ports, two 10 gig e Ethernet ports, and of course, power adapter. If we go up here to the top, <laughs> exactly as advertised, we got two USB-C or Thunderbolt ports, a power button, and of course the famous handle. And then just rows upon rows upon rows of these beautifully machined parts. And I did not opt for the wheels. $400 for wheels seemed a bit silly. Very nice feet, though. And then, finally... What tour of this thing being complete without pulling off the cover? There we go. God, that thing's heavy. Quite solid. Revealing some very interesting things. So the power control that's on the top, they use these little um, these little pogo connectors to connect to the top. Um, same thing happens here. If you look, these are little mag connectors. They're like MagSafe connectors. Very interesting. And the depths of the case, the back of the case is just this mess of black. You go over the side. Let's check out this side. And this is what the unpopulated machine looks like, so lots of room for future expansion, things that aren't there, but it has the USB port. It's got the I.O. card. I just ended up with the standard Radeon Pro 580X installed. Now, what does that look like to you? 
it's really interesting to me to see that there because that's a second heat sink. Hiding in between here, that is actually the CPU um, uh, module. You can see it's actually bolted in so you can replace it, but they've hidden everything here along the back. This is where the, the memory modules are. You can unlock them and, and take them out. It just lifts out so you can see. There we go. So RAM modules, no heat sinks on the RAM modules. Interestingly enough, it just blows through, but there are 12 slots there. So yeah, and then of course these famous huge super quiet fans. All right, there you go. That's, that's the Mac Pro.